micro has become a bit of a misnomer. Um, and there's a couple of reasons for that. One has been the learning curve over the last year. E-grocery was steadily growing, not spectacularly, but was steadily growing before COVID. And it has grown spectacularly since COVID, and it's expected to essentially level out and then continue to grow after, after COVID, whenever that is. Um, one of the things that that has driven is companies, grocery companies, to have to really rethink their strategy. And that's difficult. As a grocer, you're fulfilling lots of orders at the same time as you're trying to redesign your strategy. Um, managerially, that really spreads resources. But it raises lots and lots of questions. For example, if your model is focused on uh, delivering to homes, then you've got to weigh up questions like where is the best location for the, for the fulfillment center, um, the radius, the driving time, and the cost of the driving portion of it. If your primary model is pick up from home, then you've got to weigh your customers' needs and feel the whole process, and it's, an, it's somewhere between an art and a science, but you've got to figure out the whole process of how far will customers actually drive for the groceries. You know, when we drive to a grocery store normally, we're driving a short distance that we've rationalized in our own mind as suitable. You know, will you drive 15 minutes or will you drive an, a, an hour? It's a very personal judgment and often, usually depends on the location that, you, that you're in. But grocers have to make those kind of decisions which really affects their infrastructure spending. So some of the consequences are that the strategies are all over the place. Uh, they go from centralized fulfillment centers, so which can be justified. Think of a larger city like New York. You've got a high concentration of population, high, high density in the, in the vernacular, of population, relatively short driving distances, so maybe a centralized di distribution center makes sense. Think of more spread out cities like Houston, and it may be that more distribution centers, micro-fulfillment centers, so there would be more in quantity and smaller in size, dotted around the city. Now people can go and pick up their groceries in a comfortable driving distance. So one of the consequences of that in turn is that as volumes have increased, the volumes that people are buying have increased, the order volumes going through these facilities has changed. So the M in MFC can be micro, it can be mini, or it almost seems like it can become maxi because some of these facilities are growing to 100,000 square feet and more. So the size range is huge. Originally people were thinking maybe in the five to 10,000 square foot range, but as, as customers, as consumers flock online, the sizes have had to go up because the order volumes have just grown um, amazingly over the last while.